Hi guys, so this is Alicia, um, it's Military History Fest again, 2015, and uh, it's early but not as, as early because I'm going to wear a wig today, but I thought I would go through my makeup. And today we're doing 1780s, so, um, and it would be like late 1780s, early 1790s, so I just thought maybe you'd want to see how that goes. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the white face band. And um, the first thing you need is your sponge. You need to get your sponge wet. And here is our face paint. It's available in the shop. Um, you just need very little bit. So I, this is how I apply it. I like to just kind of dab it on. And when I say a little bit, I mean a very little bit. You would be surprised. Because we're not, we're not really going for pasty white here, um, we're going for the, the pearlescence type looking skin. So you can kind of see I'm getting a little bit wider. Um, when you're doing this, you don't want to fit your neck, your ears, uh, your bosoms, things like that. So as long as everything is even, you know, depending on what, how much what you're actually doing. For the wig, what I did last night is, after I took my shower, I pomaded uh, my hair and um, I pomaded it with the orange flower. And then I actually powdered it right away so we could get one layer of powder on before I set it. And you probably can't see, but um, there is powder in it. It actually is a little bit kind of um, grayish looking, but we'll need that for the wig. <clears throat> And use your sponge, use your wet sponge in your hands to get everything worked in really well. My skin is really sensitive, so the red marks in my neck will go away a little bit. And then you can finally set this with powder once you're finished. I'm going to put all my makeup on before I would set with powder. Um, what you want to do with your white face paint is you want to make sure to get, this is like technically your eyeshadow, so. And I always do it with my finger. So you want to put a good amount in your eye like this. So the one thing I realized with um, my new um, Italian gown is that like my neck on my shift is really large, right? I mean, well, pre pretty large. And um, there's no drawstring, obviously, but um, it's like not large enough once you put your stays on. Um, it really actually should be larger than what it is. So the next shift I make, I'm going to have to make it bigger. So. Now that you can see I have my white face paint on, it's on my neck. 
everything's even, uh, we're going to do the cloves. And um, these are the cloves. Historically, uh, they would use things like burnt cork, um, burnt cloves uh, for their eyebrows. And you want a nice curved eyebrow. See, so it's not really drastic, but you could definitely tell that I have um, one on versus the other. And we're kind of in dim light, so I'll show you guys a picture when we're finished. Okay, so the next thing is um, we're going to do our cheeks. And this is uh, Nostradamus Rouge. It is an oil base, so if you have oily skin, it might not work as well um, as some of our other liquid rouges, which aren't oil based. For me, I have pretty normal skin, sometimes drier in the uh, colder months, but I use cold cream and things, so. Um, it's not, not that bad. So it's, it's hard to see, but I just buffed it in. Um, it also works really well when you use your white face paint, uh, this rouge. For everyday purposes, it's pretty awesome when you use it uh, over your lipstick. Okay. And one of the most important parts to uh, not forget, I'm just gonna get those apples. under the eyes. You need to remember to get a little bit on your nose, a little bit in your chin, and a little bit on your forehead. This is just where they applied rouge historically. Okay. So that's it for our rouge. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply your lips. Today I'm using a 1747 Rouge. Um, it is a little bit darker. It's going to be in our shop soon. And then, to go over this, um, we're going to use our Nostradamus Rouge. See how lovely that is? Okay, and then, and then you can put um, beauty spots on if you want. We'll do that later, and I will include pictures of the dumb product. We're gonna move on to hair next. So that wraps up our tutorial.
and uh, I'll just turn to the sides. So now it's time to get dressed. <laughs> 